feel like it's gonna be the way for this moment all season. Um, you guys had a great January, kind of struggled yep. through March, but now that it's finally here, I guess what is uh I gather you guys are just super locked in on this. Like, what, what's the overall team vibe right now heading into this series? Uh, super locked in. Uh, like we know, it's ahead of us. You know, obviously, Dallas is very, very important. Um, they're very skilled. They got two elite scorers and, and playmakers. Um, so we know what's ahead. I think for us, it's just uh, making sure that we're all on the same page, and knowing we're trying to. Um, Tackle on both ends of the ball, and then run out there executing, and just you know, doing what we've been doing all year. So, um, I think we're all excited for this opportunity. Kyrie is, is someone you played with, well, not a lot, but you yep. get to play with him. Um, I, I guess what makes him so unique around, around Luca um, as that kind of secondary scorer that he has? Luca, you know, takes all the, the, the pressure and the double team and things like that. So, Kai, obviously, he, he demands that same amount of attention. Um, he can score with the best of them. I think we all have seen it over his career, and he's done it at the highest level. So for us, I think it's just uh, you know creating some really good schemes around both of those two guys, to where um, just make it as difficult as possible. Um, they're gonna they're gonna get the attempts up, you know, so they're gonna score the basketball. But I think making it as difficult as we can, possession by possession, is is uh, very key for us. James, uh, yesterday Blake announced his retirement. You obviously got a chance to play with him in Brooklyn. Um, and also, you were an opponent against him when he was here for so many years. Just what can you say about him as a teammate and the career that he had? Uh, unbelievable career, man. I think uh, we were the same, same uh, high school class and draft class. You know, so just seeing somebody who oh, I came in, in this league with, you know, retiring after an unbelievable career. First, it just shows how old I'm getting, but. Uh, you know, just it's gonna have to end someday. And I think Blake was, you know, at the point where he's just like, I don't wanna do it anymore. And, you know, it's time to, you know, it's time to go post basketball career and see what else this life can give me. So, uh, unbelievable career. Uh, we all know him for his athleticism, um, but he did some really good things off the court as well. So, um, yeah, kudos to him. James, you mentioned that, you know, when you got here, you wanted to collaborate, uh, especially with your coach. Especially at this time of the year, like how's that process going uh, as you get ready to face the Mavericks? Ready to hoop, man. It's ready to hoop. Like Tulu's job and the coaching staff job is to come up with the schemes and and help us on the court. Our job is to go out there and, and make make it happen. So whatever you know, we go over these these next few days is the schemes, and that's what we're trying to do and, and accomplish. And I think for us as individuals and as a team, going out there and making it happen. Uh, throughout the play, course of a, a playoff series. Or play out run, good things are gonna happen. You're gonna feel like you're on top on top of the world, or you're gonna feel like, damn, I can't make a shot, or or <laughs> we can't win a game. But it's like you know, momentum change, things change. Whether you lose by 30 or win by one, um, it's one game. So for us, it's just you know, having that mindset and going out there and playing an unbelievable four quarter game from game one. A couple weeks ago, it was the whole thing. You guys, the identity was an issue. You guys can find that. And T. T Lou came out, and, you know, after that losing streak, said you guys were a little soft at the time. Yep. Um, I guess, how did you guys respond to that internally, and, and what what clicked to make that change? Um, playoff time, you know, like we're st still a fairly new group. Like some of these guys have been together for a little bit bit of time, but it's ultimately a new group. You know what I mean? So for me, I think it's just you know finding, not getting bored with the game. You know, just finding ways to keep getting better, even. Even when you feel like you know this is a tough game, the opponent might not be as good. Um, you might not feel the best, that day, like whatever the case may be, like because we all go through it. You know, this is this is a part of the game. So uh, now it's it's like you know we lock in on one opponent and and, and it's time to go. So uh, all that identity things or stuff, or conversations out the window. Like we got to lock in defensively, and offensively is gonna make our job a lot easier. James, as, as an individual, do you feel as if you have anything to prove in the playoffs? Me? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I always, I always want to play well in the playoffs. You know what I mean? Um, like I've had some, you know, not great games, but I have some really good games. Um, so, you know, for me, I think that the goal is to win, and that's the only thing that I'm missing at the highest level um, as far as my NBA career. So, of course, I want to play well individually, and then I want our team to play well. So, I think it's my job as one of the leaders, the leaders on this team, is to make sure. Uh, guys are fulfilling, you know, their potential and, and, and maximizing what they bring to our team to the best of their ability, game by game. Um, you know, so that's conversations with, you know, obviously, you know, Y and PG or, or 
we know what, what to expect out of them, you know what I mean? But as far as the other guys, like making sure we're all on the same page, like, you know, T-Man and Norm and AC, because those guys are going to help us win, you know, and, and get to where we want to go. Uh, Zoo. So um, I think that's my job as, as one of the leaders on this team. James, as, James, as you prepare for this Dallas team, and you guys didn't get a chance to see this team since they made the acquisitions, Gafford, P.J. Washington, what have you seen from them that has helped Luke and Kyrie as far as the athletes they put around them? Uh, I mean, you know, other than you know, some film yesterday, I haven't really been watching them. You know, they focused on us and the things we need to get better at. But like, no matter who they get, it starts with them too. You know what I mean? And then obviously there's complimentary players like P.J. Washington and, and you know, Dante Exum is playing well. Um, I'm Tim Hardaway, we all know he can shoot the ball. Um, and then they added a lot of target and Gafford. So, you know, we all we all know what they expect and what they're trying to do. I think it's for us to just, you know, making it difficult, possession by possession. James, question. James uh, the defense for you guys has been up and down at yeah. times throughout the year. Where do you think the defense is at now as you guys head into the playoffs? What do you mean? Over the last couple games, you guys... We haven't played in the last couple games. Well, I'm saying for the team over the last couple games, have you noticed anything change <laughs> defensively? Sunday. Yeah. Thanks. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab.